Joined now by head coach Marshall Spurbeck on signing day and coach obviously uh, you guys as a staff have been working very hard over the last couple of months and today's the day where it all pays off. Yeah, and I feel like it did pay off today. We, we have a great class in front of us. Um, a lot of young men that committed today are going to make a difference in our program down the road. And we couldn't be happier with the guys that selected Sacramento State. I want to say, you know, our staff did a great job. I mean, our, Coach Ingram, our recruiting coordinator, and every one of our assistant coaches um, really did a good job working together and, and bringing this, uh, this class together. And uh, we couldn't be in a better place. You guys look to put a lot of attention on the offensive line and defensive line. Let's start on the offensive side of the ball. Uh, what are you guys excited about? Well, I like our quarterback. You know, you kind of always start there. And I think uh, getting Jihad Vercher, who's uh, had an outstanding career down at Salesian High School, I, I think that was uh, impressive for us to be able to, to land him. Um, the offensive line was a knee. We didn't have a lot of young guys in our, uh, a lot of developmental guys in uh, coming up. And so we were able to get five uh, offensive linemen in our freshman class and I think all of them have um, different skill sets a lot of length if you look at those guys there's there's six 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 five a couple six four kids I think the shortest kid in there is six three so um, a lot of guys that can develop and, and grow into to big time players for us going back to Virtue, he's a, a dual threat quarterback but obviously did most of the damage through the air anyone you can compare him to what, what type of skills will he bring you know it, I think if you look at uh, the quarterback at uh, Montana State, McGee, and I think if you look at Adams from Washington, uh, Eastern Washington, I think both those guys are similar um, uh, to what you're going to see from Vircher. And I think Jihad spins it real easy. He's got a quick release, doesn't need a lot of room to throw. And the fact that he can run with the ball as well, I just think he's one of the, he's what you're seeing in college football now. On the defensive side, again, a heavy influence on the line, but it's some other guys that have filled some, some needed for you guys in the back. Uh, Jordan Robinson, running back, um, you know, he had some other opportunities, some other schools that were hitting on him pretty hard, and he came to Sacramento State and really liked it. Um, I, I like our tight end, Stone Sanders from Placer High. I, I think he's a, an up-and-coming guy that once he gets into a more spread-out passing offense, he's going to really have a, 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 an opportunity to shine. Aaron Mars, another big receiver. You know, he's a 6'3", 6'4", kid that's 200 pounds that um, really did a nice job at uh, NLA High School. Um, and, shoot, we had some kids at the break, too, going back offensive line-wise. John Wallace, the transfer from UMass. Uh, Justin Ace, a big kid from Long Beach City. Um, I keep going back to those offensive linemen because those are the guys that are going to help you, um, you know, win games. You can, if you don't have those guys, it doesn't matter what you, what you have with your skills. Defensively, most of the players back from last year as far as the starters, a couple of holes, mostly a middle linebacker, and it looks like you guys have a good one in Ofa Fafita. Yeah, you know, Jeff Badger was a, was a great player for us, and we lost him, so we felt like we needed to, to take an older guy there that could come in and help and compete right now. And Ofa Fafita is a kid that was in Fresno State's program, um, and then he went to Riverside and played a year there, and we feel having him for two years will really um, give us some instant competition at that linebacker spot. Um, the safety position um, was another position we needed to address. Losing Ryan McMahon, we brought in, um, you know, Mike Sellers, Robbie Kendall, uh, Tyrone Duckett, three, uh, two, two kids that played Division One football, and then a JC guy. Um, so we feel like we, we really strengthened the competition, built some depth there, and gives us an opportunity to be better at both our nickel and safety spots. All right. Thanks, Coach. Appreciate your time. Yeah.